hello hello family welcome to sons and daughters of prophet hubert angel in this video we are about to share uh, our mother in the lord prophetess baby angel shared a testimony about the birth of sia Ubad angel jr uj and what happened and how our father prophet Ubad angel fasted for three months which for the first two weeks he locked up himself let's listen to this testimony please share like and comment we will be back god bless you all this is my testimony some years ago i'll say this in closing some years ago we were expecting our first son i'm sure some of you know him hubert jr he's 14 years old now so about 15 years ago, we were expecting our first son. And news came when I was about 19 weeks into the pregnancy. We got a knock on the door, opened the door, and we saw, oh, the doctors are coming in to our house. We told them, okay, be seated. And the doctors came in with a few nurses accompanying them. And they said, we came here to break some news to you concerning your pregnancy. They said, we have done some tests and we have seen that your child has down syndrome we have seen that this baby is not growing well at all the size that you should be right now is not the normal size for this uh, uh, by 19 weeks of pregnancy and they said the only solution you have is to abort this child because you will struggle to look after a disabled child in the united kingdom and they said because it's your first baby you will just try for another one so we we we, we have set aside a date for you come on such and such a day we have already prepared everything for you to have that abortion i'm talking to somebody now now remember remember jesus said this kind this kind comes out only only through prayer and fasting stay with me so here we have the news immediately as the doctors left my husband said to me my wife oh by the way my tall dark and handsome husband just to put that in there now my husband tells me he says we will never go back to the hospital again we will never go for any more antenatal visits this is the last time we see a doctor because dr jesus is the one who is going to take care of this one and he said i am declaring a fast i am personally going to fast for three solid months and for the first two weeks i want you to lock me we had uh, this house uh, in ashton underline in the city of manchester we had a two-bedroomed house we were still starting up at the time and so he said lock me in this room it was a room that we had set aside for prayer so went into the room oh by the way now i have a house 14 acres mansion 50 something windows you know just to put it in there somewhere uh, yeah yes 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 so so just to poke a few demons i don't live in two bedrooms i'm sorry i don't have two bedrooms i have a good problem a very good problem where now i'm struggling to find a bed linen all my beds are oversized no bed linen anywhere i have to get a tailor to make my sheets now I a, a, am I poking some demons? That's exactly what I want to do. Now, so I locked him in that room. I was already accustomed to him doing that. From time to time, he, he would have his times apart. And I would lock him in that room. No food, no water, no nothing. And he would say, by this day, don't open the door. Even if I knock, don't open. Until this day, in two weeks time, that is when you come and open the door. No matter what you hear, no matter what you see, just don't open the door until this day so he did his two weeks of fasting and i went on the second uh, week opened the door and he said i have a note of victory in my spirit but i'm going to carry on with this fast for three months he went on a dry fast three solid months no food no water three solid months he went on that fast fasting for this thing because remember this kind remember this kind remember this kind i want you to keep that in your head this kind and so three months elapsed and then the time came for that baby to be born remember we never went back for any more hospital visits so when i knew that this baby is coming today i took my bag we went with my husband walked into the hospital into the ward and all
Doctors were shocked. Okay, so you decided to carry this pregnancy to term. This is a high risk pregnancy. So I went into an intensive care uh, ward. And in that room, there were surgeons wearing pink, surgeons wearing green, surgeons wearing blue, all kinds of colors in that room. So many nurses, so many doctors, so many specialists waiting to deliver a disabled child with special needs. This kind. <laughs> To cut a long story short, as soon as that child was born, the nurses whisked him away quickly because they knew this was a high risk pregnancy. Whisked him away, took him to a, a, a bed that they had laid aside for him. All the surgeons gathered around him, ready to start operating, ready to start doing their thing on this disabled child. And yet, lo and behold, 100% healthy nothing missing and nothing broken no sign of down syndrome nothing 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 at all wow 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 so powerful so wonderful wow this message this testimony is mind-blowing please share please subscribe thank you god bless you all till we we'll meet in the next video